There are some beautiful decorations in Melbourne around Christmas time and I wanted to put together some Disney inspired Christmas looks to go along with them. Let me show you what I came up with this year. Hey guys, Kelly here and welcome back to my kingdom and welcome to our first Melbourne Christmas location which is the Melbourne Town Hall. It's so cute over here, they've got some nutcrackers, some wreaths, they change all the plants so that they're all red and green. They have this beautiful Merry Christmas bow, it's absolutely gorgeous. This outfit is pretty simple, all I did was throw on my Christmas spirit jersey that I got from the Disneyland Resort in California and my gingerbread Mickey ears that I also got from Disneyland during Christmas time. The next place we went to was 333 Collins Street which is actually a office building. The building itself is absolutely stunning. The roof is just magnificent, the decor, everything. And the tree is absolutely beautiful as well. It's just red and gold decorations with sparkling lights. It's so, so pretty. You might see me looking a little bit awkward in this footage because as I said, it is an office building and everyone was walking past staring at me. I have the same gingerbread ears on from Disneyland and I have a matching gingerbread purse from Forever 21 and I have a red dress that I got from TK Maxx and some red heels that I got a long time ago. I don't remember where those are from. We then headed over to Burke Street at the old Melbourne GPO building, which is now a H&M. They had this gorgeous corridor just filled with Christmas trees, which also had red and gold decorations, which I love. Red and gold, green, my favorite Christmas colors. I'm wearing my same TK Maxx dress and red heels. I have on my red and green Christmas ears from Disney and my Christmas tree light up necklace that I got from Dollar Tree over in America. We then headed over to Chadston Shopping Centre where they have a humongous Christmas tree with gold decorations. Beautiful and this glass reindeer which there's nothing like it. It's so stunning and bright and oh, I just love it so much. They also have a Santa's workshop over there where you can obviously meet Santa. To get into that they have this really cool door that looks like a book that has the night before Christmas written on it. There's so many Christmas trees, there's a reindeer, a little elf. That's where you meet Santa. And there's me with a reindeer. Here I'm wearing this really cozy hat that I got from Walt Disney World. I'm wearing my same Christmas tree necklace. I have a dress from Tempt, which it wasn't Christmassy, but it just works with the red and green on it. And I have this shirt that I got from Charlotte Ruth. Our final Christmas stop was at Federation Square. They have this Christmas tree which plays music during the day. At night time it completely lights up as well. There's also this little ball, 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 ball that also lights up at night time. You can meet Santa here as well. There's also an activity set. I'm wearing my earrings, my candy cane earrings that I got from Target. I have my alien popcorn bucket that I got from Walt Disney World, which I love. I have this Mickey Mouse Christmas t-shirt that I got from Walmart. My skirt is from Dotty. I'm wearing my Disney red and green ears again. And that's it for my looks. I hope you enjoyed these and I hope you enjoyed the little tour of Melbourne's Christmas decorations for 2019. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.